Now we're going to start making our fan shroud. So we've got this big piece of aluminum that we're going to draw out our design on before we cut it out to make sure we have everything set properly. Then we're going to cut it out in sections and fold it all together. Hopefully we're able to bend this thing nicely and it makes out to a nice fan shroud. Sorry for my voice today guys and the lack of voiceover. I've got a really sore throat so it's mainly going to be video clips today. Next we'll cut the hole out that the fan will sit in. The hole has to be a little bit of an odd shape because our fan has a larger diameter than our radiator. We'll draw out a hole for the entire fan size and then we'll draw another one slightly smaller. That way we can cut the entire smaller hole out and then only parts of the larger hole, creating tabs. Alright guys, that's some major progress. So as you can see, the fan is taller than the radiator shroud is going to be. So we're going to have to cut top and bottom sections out so that the fan will fit in there. Now that we've got the fan fit through and where we want it, we can see here where we're going to need to cut out to bend these pieces up and in. So now we gotta start bending the pieces to make the box form of the radiator shroud. To do this, my plan is to stuff them in the vise and then bend them over using a mallet. If you guys have better ideas how to bend this without a bending break, do let me know. We don't have anything that welds aluminum at the moment, so we're gonna drill four holes, one on each corner, and throw some bolts in it to hold it together. So I got the radiator up on the table so that we can test fit our shroud and fan. I got the fan all mounted in the shroud off camera, but our shroud is pretty much done. So now we're just going to drill a couple mounting holes on the shroud and the radiator, mount this guy up, and throw it all back in the car. Once we have the holes drilled, we're ready to mount the fan shroud on the radiator. First we're going to take some vacuum hose and cut it lengthwise. That way we can wrap it around the sharp edges on the shroud so that it doesn't damage the radiator as it sits on there. This will also help create a better air seal so you're pulling more air through the fins of the radiator instead of around the edges of the fan shroud. The fan that we used in this is a 3.8 liter Taurus fan. It usually comes with its own shroud, but it was completely the wrong size to fit on the radiator that we had. So because of that, we cut most of the shroud off and had to make a new one. This thing definitely feels really solid and I'm way stoked about going to use it. Last time at the track, I would only get five laps before the car was so hot that I would have to cool it off. But with this new fan shroud on there and this new radiator fan, I should be covering like 25% more of the radiator fins and I should be pulling another 35% of the air through. So I'm really stoked for this. I can't wait to go out and use it and see how much cooler it keeps the car and how much longer I can stay on track because that's the point. We're trying to stay on track as long as we can all day and not have to take cool down breaks all the time. And hopefully this is the key to that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like my custom fan shroud. This fan should be keeping me a lot more cool when I take the car to the track, which means more footage for you guys. If you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a like or subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And I'll see you guys next time on Full Tilt Drift. Now we go see if the new fan shroud and fan fits in the car. It ought to because we measured it out. As long as it didn't turn out bigger than we planned on, it should slide right in there. All right, moment of truth. It fits. <laughs>